YouTube. I just want to show you something on my little uh, tr uh, T configuration tricopter with the I 86 board. Now, this thing, you know, a lot of people are buying uh, the controllers with auto level, but this thing is pretty good. I mean, without auto level. I'll show you just how good it'll fly right here. Let's see if I may have to trim it out a bit because every time I put a battery on it, it's a little bit different on the CG. Closer to me. One more click back. Bring it back to me. Let it level off a bit and see where it stays at. Still wanting to go forward, so. See what it does now. Pretty much gone, almost all by itself. Let's see. More throttle. Get away from the tree. I don't like the trees being around. Oh, there it is. Alright, we'll kind of drift around a bit. As you can see, it's pretty flat and level. And it's not really going anywhere, it's just staying right there, so let me bring it back here. And that's pretty much it. So I'm just saying that the I-86 board is a good board to have. Hope you like this. Uh, if you do, click like or subscribe. I'm going to be building some more stuff. I got a T copter in the, uh, or, a, or a power of tower in a T configuration, kind of like this one. And I'm going to be building a uh, quadcopter similar to this. Except my arms, are, these arms are fold, and these two arms are fold in like this. If you'll notice, this is a piece of uh, angle aluminum there, and then when I loosen this up, this drops down, and these are collapsed, and I can tighten them back up in it makes it a real nice tight compact little flying machine so I drop this down the arm comes in drop this down and the arm comes in and there you have it okay thanks uh, please click like or subscribe or share it with your friends whatever you know and thanks for watching and until next time uh, we'll catch you later.